Graphing Polynomial Functions Part 1 I can classify polynomials. In this lesson, you will learn how to write a polynomial in standard form and identify the leading coefficient, the degree, and the number of terms of a polynomial. A polynomial looks like this. 4xy to the power of 2 plus 3x minus 5. This polynomial has three terms. The first one is 4xy to the power of 2, second is 3x, and the third is negative 5. A polynomial has some rules. It can have constants, variables, and exponents, but never division by a variable. For example, a polynomial can never be powered to a negative number, and it can never be divided by an x exponent. The x can never be in the den den denominator polynomial or not. As we said in the previous slide that those are not polynomial functions. These are polynomials. As you can see here that the y is power to a positive number. It's power to the power of 2 and here it's power to the power of 3 and all the terms are constant. These are polynomials. 3x is a constant variable. It is a polynomial. x minus 2 is also a polynomial. Negative 6 y to the power of 2 minus 7 over 9 times x is also a polynomial. The y is not power to a negative number. It is 2. It's positive. For the following polynomial, identify the degree, the leading term, and the leading coefficient. 3 plus 2x to the power of 2 minus 4x to the power of 3. As we said in the previous slides, we talked about the degree. So, we are able to find the degree of this polynomial. The degree is 3 because it's the highest rate or the highest power of x. So, the highest power of x is 3, so it's the degree. The leading term is the term containing that degree. So, and we have that x to the power of 3, the 3 is the degree. And this term that is containing that degree is negative 4x to the power of 3. This is the whole term that containing that degree. So, the term is negative 4x to the power of 3. We have here three terms. 3 is the first term. 2x to the power of 2 is the second term. The third term is negative 4x to the power of 3. So this polynomial has three terms. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of that term. So we said that this is the leading term that has the degree of 3. So the leading coefficient is negative 4. For the following polynomial, identify the degree, the leading term, and the leading coefficient. 5t to the power of 5 minus 2t to the power of 3 plus 7t. The degree is the highest power of t in this polynomial. So the highest power is 5. This is 3 and this is to the power of 1. So the highest is 5. This polynomial has three terms. The first term is 5t to the power of 5. The second term is negative 2t to the power of 3. The third term is 7t. The highest power of x is 5, so the degree is 5. As we said, that the degree is 5. The leading term is the term containing that degree. So we said that this is the degree, and this degree is containing in the first term, which is 5t to the power of 5. So this is the leading term. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of that term, which is 5. Let's take this example. 6p minus p to the power of 3 minus 2. The degree is just simply 3 because it's the highest power of p in this polynomial. This p is power to 1. 3 is greater than 1. So the highest power of x is 3. Here we just put a mistake. It's p. It's supposed to be b, p. So the highest power of p is 3. So the degree is 3. The leading term is the term containing that degree. So the term is negative p to the power of 3. 
This term has three terms too. The first term is 6p. The second term is negative p to the power of 3, which is the leading term because it's containing that highest power, the degree. And the third term is negative 2. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of that term. So we said that this is the leading term, so it is negative 1. Write this polynomial in standard form. When we want to write the polynomial in standard form, we're just going to put the highest degree like from the greatest to the lowest. The highest degree in this polynomial is 4. So the term or the leading term of the standard form at first is going to be negative x to the power of 4 because it's the greatest, it has the greatest degree. So it's going to be at first negative x to the power of 4. Then it's going to be plus x to the power of 2, plus 2x to the power of 2. But since these x's have the same power, we're just going to add those terms together. So it's going to be negative x to the power of 4 plus 3x to the power of 2 when we add those together. So it's going to be answer choice C. Write the polynomial in standard form. Negative 2x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 4 plus 3. This term has three terms. I mean, this polynomial has three terms. The first term is negative 2x to the power of 2. The second term is x to the power of 4. And the third term is 3. As we said, that when we want to write a polynomial in standard form, we're just going to take the one with the highest degree at first from greatest to lowest. So the greatest power here is x to the power of 4. So x to the power of 4 is going to be in the front. The second highest power is negative 2x to the power of 2. The 2 is the second highest degree. The 3 has no degree, so it's going to be at last. So it's going to be x to the power of 4 minus 2x to the power of 2 plus 3. So it's answer choice B. Which of the following statement is true of the polynomial? x to the power of 2 plus 6x to the power of 3 minus 4 plus 2x to the power of 5. The highest degree in this polynomial is 5 because it's the highest number of a power of x. We, here we have four terms. So is it A, the degree of the polynomial is 1? No, it is 5 because it's the highest degree. The leading coefficient of the polynomial is 1. Nope, it's not 1. We said that the degree is 5 and the leading coefficient is 2, which is in the leading term of the degree of 5. The polynomial in standard form is 2x5 plus 6x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 4. Let's see. 2x to the power of 5. Yes, it's correct. It's going to be at first because the 5 is the highest power of x. Then the second is 3. Yes. Then the third is 2 and negative 4 has no power or uh, any other exponent. So, yep, C is correct. Let's see D. The polynomial is a trinomial. Nope, it's not a trinomial. So, it's answer choice C.